Darkman Doll here. Uh, on Sundays, sometimes I do a show that is called Sunday Morning Meditation. Um, instead of doing that today, I decided that what I want to do is show you this book that I would talk to you guys about on the last video that I did on this channel as far as the gods and goddesses of the Voodoo tradition. <clears throat> I've talked about a few connected with Yoruba. Um, but not, I've never like sat down and talked and just, I'm still getting to know and learn more about all these gods and goddesses to tell you the truth. Um, for the, for years, when I was younger, um, I would watch movies and TV shows and see a lot of these, uh, most of the gods and goddesses of Yoruba or Vodou, um, and a lot of the hoodoo, um, practices were shown in horror movies, um, and they're shown as like something that you can't really understand and something you should be afraid of. So what I suggest for people is to do your research and really study, um, really read and maybe if you feel comfortable practicing what you read, um, personal sp experiences, everything, but really know what you're getting yourself into with whatever god or goddess that you choose to ask for assistance from. So. I always want to emphasize that so you know what you're getting into and not just jumping into things blindly and saying people calling out gods and goddesses names and wanting them to do things that are um, that you wouldn't do yourself I mean you know what I'm saying so err on the side of caution when you when it comes to um, communing with the gods and goddesses have respect for them like they would have respect for you that's pretty much how I approach it. So <clears throat> this is the book that um, I was talking about in the last video, uh, but I didn't have uh, I didn't have the book <laughs> to show you. But this is it. It's called Jambalaya, and it's by uh, Louisa Tish. And um, in this book is pretty cool because in the beginning of it, it talks about you know a little bit about her upbringing and how she. Uh, pretty much was born into it, into Vodou. She was born into it, so, and that's a lot of people. But here's the thing is a lot of people, um, they may have it in their uh, ancestry or whatever people before them, their ancestors before them practiced, um, but they may not have no knowledge of how to because nobody really passed it down the line. That does happen. Uh, there can be like dysfunctional families like mine I feel like uh, some of the things my mom used to do uh, were connected with some things that would happen in the Vodou tradition and Yoruba as well. Um, she would do things but not really explain why she did it. She just did it, you know what I mean? Like cutting my hair and then burning it outside so nobody gets a hold of my hair. Um, I mean, she would trim my hair, not cut it, not give me a haircut, but trim my hair. And, my, and um, yeah, she would put it in a big steel pot out in the backyard and burn it. <clears throat> and she did tell me that you don't want anybody to get a hold of your hair. And that was all she said. She didn't say anything else to back that up, like any more information, like they get a hold of your hair, they can, people can use it in spells or hexes or anything like that. She didn't say anything like that. <laughs> she just said, you know, don't let anybody get a hold of your hair. <clears throat> Ever since then, as a kid, I just... Ever since that experience, uh, if I have uh, pieces of hair like my dreads or whatever, little bits and bobs come off, I like to save and then I burn it, you know, whenever I can. You can also take your hair to like a river or ocean and throw it in there too, or um, bury it, but I like to burn it because that really seals the deal for me as far as that goes. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, there's a lot of traditions, a lot of things that my mom would do that would just seem seemed just like a silly superstitions but it was and there was something in it like the itching of the palm my palm would itch I I would be getting money when my nose started itching really bad um, someone was coming to see me and someone would come to see me that I hadn't seen in a while so there's something to a lot of this um, <clears throat> I never dissed it when I was a kid because experience is everything so um, yeah, this is a good book. I like it. I didn't read the whole thing, to tell you the truth. I've had this for years, and I'm still, like, studying. It has all, like, 
it has a lot of uh, info about um, like different gods and goddesses. Abatala, Yemaya, they show um, she shows different things you can do to help for certain things. Like you know, like Abatala is good. Like I'm showing you this, like you can see anything. Abatala, you could do a. <clears throat> I guess you call it kind of like a. I guess you're asking for a Batala's assistance in here. Um, if you're trying to get rid of uh, addictions, like to alcohol and narcotics, um, things like that of nature. But each god and goddess, as you guys probably know, serves a purpose. And when you call upon them, um, you can ask them for what you need assistance with. Yeah, I, mean, uh, I mean, the list goes on. This is a good one. It has Shango in here, um, Ojun. Yep, and um, like I said, and her experiences in here. I'm not going to tell you what this whole book is about, but it's really packed, jam packed. Um, someone had uh, loaned it to me a long time ago. A mom, I got together with this mom for a play group with my son years ago, and she uh, gave me this. Oh, not gave it to me. She loaned it to me, and then I kind of thumbed through it, and then gave it back to her, because I know she wasn't going to want to give away something that precious. Um, she was still uh, looking through and studying it. So uh, I just skimmed it, gave it back to her, and then thought, okay, I'm going to, you know, find this book and buy it. So I eventually did buy it, which is now. And I think the book comes to you at a certain time. Um, I think at the time, I wasn't ready to, you know, dive in and invest a lot of time in, uh, in really learning what this is all about. Um, I was just so tired. I mean, working so much. Um, taking care of my son and everything was just exhausting um, and so I didn't feel like I had time to really you know dig deep and study and really learn more about all of this and so now I feel it finally feel like I can um, so it's never too late and never too early to learn what it is you want to learn more about uh, this is a fantastic book um, the other book that I showed you was like one that was more commercial because it said voodoo spelled V O O D O O, but this is Vodou, so, and um, she's got a lot to offer. Um, I'm sure there's other books too out there. Um, there's a really cool woman, uh, she goes by the name of Ugly Shyla, and she always, not always, sometimes she'll put forth uh, references in regards to Vodou, and there's a book that she put out, recommended, um, not that she wrote herself, that she put, posted on her. Um, I think it was her Facebook post, and I was like, ah, that looks like a really good one, so, um, some people don't believe in books, they just say, you need to just tune into what's already there, but here's the thing, is a lot of people can't tune into what's already there, because what's already there is lost, hanging dormant, in order to reawaken that, a lot of times people do need to read about these spiritual practices, and then that refreshes their memory the memory of their ancestors that are within them become awakened and then you start to be able to absorb this information a lot easier I believe so um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's little show today I hope you find it helpful in any way um, if you're you know on your spiritual path and you're confused do your research and read and don't do anything that doesn't feel comfortable there's a lot of people that are deciding that they don't want, they don't feel like they're connected to conventional uh, spirituality. That's what I call it, conventional spirituality. They're just not. And I'm one of those people. So if you are one of those people that don't feel connected to that type of uh, spiritual uh, path or way, then do your research and really find out who you are and what you're all about. Because it's a... It's a very uh, interesting journey. It really is. <laughs> and I've seen some very, very, very extreme things <laughs> on my journey, spiritual journey. And um, a lot of the things that I've been reading in regards to these uh, traditions, Vodou, Yoruba, um, I haven't really read much about Hoodoo, only a little bit. So I'm not going to claim to know a lot about that either which I don't know a lot about each and every one, I don't. I'm still studying. And, you know, for you, for anybody to say that they're, they've learned everything, there's nothing else left to learn, 
just because of their age. Don't listen to them. Why else would you be here? You're still learning, just like all of us. So, alrighty guys, I hope you have a great Sunday. Um, yeah, check out this book. Maybe you can get it on Amazon. You could get, Maybe you can get it at Barnes & Noble. Does Barnes & Noble still exist? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for the likes and shares. And thank you for your kind comments. Leave your comments down below. And let me know if you've read this book and what you think about it. Brightest blessings to you all, and I'll see you soon.